Hey guys. Ah, we have a good relationship. Right? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our channel. I am Jin Ti. And I'm Chris. And we are going to be making a video about our relationship. Because that's what you guys apparently want. So if you don't know us, or if you're new to this channel, we make videos about all sorts of things to do with like health, travel, minimalism, and stuff like that. So and relationships. And relationships. So uh, consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But it is going to be a different sort of video than we usually film because we're just going to really free ball. Free ball? Is that what you call it? I'm um, free balling. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that out. You don't need to know that. Freeballing <laughs> 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 is not the word. Spitballing. We're just going to Go the floor. freestyle this. Freestyle. Um, we haven't got anything like planned. I thought we'd just sort of more have a conversation about our relationship and chat with you guys, sort of. We came up with two like crucial points that we think are really important for our relationship yeah they are supporting each other in growth and communication common among everybody is the desire to grow and improve yourself having someone to come along on that on that ride and support you in everything is the best thing in the world yeah it's such a privilege to be able to be that person for someone else and that is always what Chris and I strive to do in our relationship. Like, I just want to be there for him in any way I possibly can because there's like nothing more amazing than watching like Chris grow and and be like more and more happy and healthy in all, all areas. And to get to watch that and be there for someone else is a real privilege. Yeah, so we are completely different to how we were when we first met. That's what our relationship is all about, is just always supporting each other and growing together. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, it's not about wanting to change each other, it's not about what we can get from each other, it's more about like what we can give to each other and how we can be there in better and better ways. And every single day, like constantly learning more and more about each other. We've been together for I don't know. 50 years. <laughs> We've been together for like, I don't know, maybe seven and a half years or something. And still getting to know each other in so many ways on different levels. It's like a freaking, it's like an onion, okay? And you're peeling the layers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please go on. Please go on. <laughs> get me, guys. Like, you think you know someone and then you get to know them on a deeper level. And that's the onion skin. I love it. <laughs> okay, a few more things with supporting each other in, in your own like, personal growth is that it's not always pretty. Like, it can be messy. Um, I think growth is really looking at your own, the, your ugly parts of yourself, the parts that need healing and stuff like that. And it's not, a, yeah, it's not pretty sometimes. And it's certainly not perfect so if you are thinking like you're looking for that perfect relationship or that perfect person then I think that's actually a bit of an illusion because there is no perfect there's like authentic and there's honest and truthful but there's not this perfect image that you often see especially through social media and um, movies and stuff like that growth is messy the best part of being in a relationship is to have someone to talk about anything. Whatever things you've gone through in the past, uh, any feelings that come up, like being able to just share that straight away is a form of a release, right? So if you have something that comes up and you don't talk about it, it sort of goes back down and it'll come back l later. Like there's no, there's nothing that you can not talk about and just put it away forever. Like yeah. it's, definitely going to come up and I think that is what I really cherish about our relationship is the ability for me just to like pour stuff on you just to <laughs> no. it's just to, to talk things out and 
feels yeah. safe. I think you can't just begin a relationship and be completely vulnerable, right? Like you need to get to know someone and develop trust and understanding and, and then you can express more and more and become more and more vulnerable when that, that sort of trust is there. And sometimes that takes time, but that's what it's all about. Like that journey that two people are going on together, right? Yeah. Yeah, often when you share something with me, it will spark something in me that's, that I haven't spoke about yet. And then I'll open, um, up. open up, you know, soon after that. There's never a point in our relationship anyway where we get to, we've gotten to this place where it's like, okay, we've arrived. Like, we can stop now. Like, we don't need to work on ourselves or this relationship any longer. Yeah. Like, no, things are coming up all of the time. We're parents now. Like, we're always going to be working on this. It's never, we're never going to get to this place where it's like, we're done here, like. Uh, shit's always crazy. <laughs> so not crazy. All right, so that's sort of support and growth. And obviously there's so much more to this and we can talk probably a lot about this because this is sort of what we're really passionate about, like growth and yeah, always challenging our beliefs and, and stuff. So we love doing that together and I think that is so important in a relationship that you're not, you're not holding someone to who they were in the past. Like you're supporting them in becoming the person that you know they can be, like the, the person that's in there and they've been maybe too scared to show, like, but you get to help them. Blossom. Blossom. <laughs> the second thing that is definitely crucial in our relationship is communicating. And part of communicating is not just getting your point across or telling, even telling the other person how you feel. It's about listening to the other person, listening to their perspective, opinions. And not only that, it's trying to put yourself in their shoes and, and see it from their own eyes. Totally. Like listening is more important than speaking, I think. Yeah, it gives you a much better understanding of where they're coming from. Yeah, so communication is huge for Chris and I. We have had friends in the past be like, you guys are so weird because you talk about everything. Like nothing, <laughs> nothing is off the limits for us. Um, uh, some should be maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, we, we talk about everything and there's just times throughout the day where I'll just notice something's up with Chris or he'll notice something's up with me and we'll be like, let's chat about this. Like, where are you at? Like, we just, we talk a lot. I suppose that goes into disagreements and arguments and things like that. Um, I think we certainly aren't perfect and we definitely have disagreements. Um, would you describe us as having arguments? We have our own version of arguments. Passionate we, disagreements. Yeah, we don't we we don't yell at each other, but you know we're different people and we have different opinions. Often at the time, it's hard to to reach an agreement. Like it's it's you know hard to see the other person's uh, point of view. But if we have that time um, apart and we you know we listen to each other, then when we come back, we can sort of see where the other person is coming from. Yeah. And we don't have to like agree on everything. As long as we see the other person's point of view, then... And yeah, respect that. We're not always going yeah. to think the same way. Like nothing is black and white. And with Chris and I, like we often find that the answer is somewhere in the middle in that gray area. Like I'll be here and I think this and Chris And I'll is... be right over here. <laughs> And the answer is somewhere in the middle. When I don't understand where Chris is coming from, I literally just pretend I'm him almost and be like, look at it from his perspective and like view myself as if I was you. And that really helps. I'm like, of course he feels like this. Of course he thinks that because all of this happened this way. And like, we had different childhoods. We had different everything. And we're both right. right? How you think and your beliefs make you right in an argument or in a discussion right like right right right, right. <laughs> and it's that's a big thing too is let go of that urge to be right because it's you always lose if you try and be yeah. right in an argument uh, so it's best just to listen and try and understand where they're coming from rather than be right in that argument 
Yeah, one of my favorite quotes is actually like, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Because if you're judging a brother, you're wrong, even if you are right. And I just love that because it's so true. Like I would prefer to be happy over right. And if you're putting someone else down and making them like lose space or like telling them they're wrong, like you're sort of wrong too. And there's nothing good comes from that. We don't want you to think that we've mastered everything and we have like the perfect relationship because we definitely don't. And everything we're talking about now is things that we we know are important and we're always trying to, to work at. Yeah, we're always learning and stuff. And like we said earlier, we're not at this place where, you, or no one's ever at this place where you've arrived and that everything's sorted now. Like we're always growing and learning. Because yeah, this isn't stuff we've mastered. This yeah. is stuff that we're just experiencing and that we've learned. Yeah, and we just know that if we always communicate and we always support each other in in like our growth journey, then we're we'll doing have a pretty happy good. relationship. <laughs> Another thing I want to discuss really briefly that I think has been really important in our relationship is taking responsibility for your reactions and your emotions. I was someone who got into big moods and used like the silent treatment instead of communicating how I felt, and it's just serves no purpose it's so damaging and you make all of these assumptions in your head and stories in your head and they're just it's not really the truth and when you take ownership for your emotions um you start to really realize how playing the victim and blaming other people is just at the end of the day we all have the choice on how we feel so if you don't sort of feed the, the drama and the story, you can let it go faster and make the decision to feel happy, which is... Yeah, exactly what you said. Yeah, it's a decision, right? And that little part of us that um, thrives on feeling miserable, like I think we all have that part of us, like where we get into that low mood, it's like, yeah, stay here mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You can, it's a choice. You can go down that route or you could be like, no, I'm not going that, that way today. I, I want to be happy and I want to have a good relationship. And I think communication is the thing that can pull you out of that. You just have to start talking and it's hard sometimes but it's really necessary so this video is getting really long so we're going to wrap it up we could talk about this for a really long time but you know no one's going to watch that so um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in two days thanks guys yeah,